Loose Records kind of started uh, January 1st of 2008. We found a space that we could rent out um, to build a studio, and it was a couple years of, well, like a year of just screwing around and building stuff and sticking things on walls and turning knobs and buying weird gadgets and wires and splitters. And then we uh, started our own pirate radio station around 2012 I think yeah and then we came back in 2010 to show people what we'd learned it, that song it's basically a, just about uh, in your early 20s you're kind of you have this false sense of power and comp- confidence um, that seems to fade as social responsibilities start to sprinkle onto your soul And uh, it's just about that beautiful little period where you're the king of the world, your early 20s. Goddess on the Prairie was the last song that we recorded on the album. And uh, I think a couple of my favorite songs are Goddess on the Prairie and Times a Thousand, both because they're the opposite approach to making a record. Goddess on the Prairie was done all live in a room, uh, all of us just at the same time, vocals and everything, and like, and I don't know, it just has a good live energy. But then Times a Thousand was kind of the whipping boy that was just cut and pasted and done in the most like robotic way, but artistic way possible. It was just like an art project or a sculpture. It wasn't even like a song really. And it was just worked on for like a year because it, we were just trying out weird ideas. And I think that's not the way most bands should make a song, but it's also probably my favorite song on the album. So. The first the first time that we came to Vancouver to play a rock show, uh, it was right. We were playing right in the neighborhood where our studio is, and uh, I remember we the guys were about to go on, or we were all about to go on, and I had to run to the van to grab something. So I went to the top of this parkade, and I when I was coming down the stairwell, there was there was a male prostitute, a businessman, and this like woman who looked like she might have been pregnant. And they were all just sitting there smoking crack. And I grew up in, a, we all grew up in like a little small town. And I was like, this is weird. It's this so is cool. <laughs> I got to move here. And uh, yeah. What group is that? It was, uh, it was pretty weird. And uh, so that's kind of the song that, that was the inspiration for that song. And, um, and it was all sung in just one vocal take. And I like those kind of songs where they just seem to write themselves, you know. And same with the way that the music came about. It was just a groove in the jam room, and it was written in, like, I don't know, 10 minutes, you know. But sometimes that's the best way. Well, I think from day one we were talking about it being more of the kind of album you could throw in at a party and you don't have to, like, sit and dissect it, you know, <clears throat> in a laboratory. Um, but at the same time, uh, I wrote... All of the songs except for Goddess on the Prairie from not my own perspective. Um, and I don't know, something's liberating when you're not, the words that are coming out of your mouth don't necessarily always have to represent who you are. And I just kind of would imagine the perspective of different people in the neighborhood. Um, and that's why it's a pretty Vancouver based album, I'd say, is because a lot of it is just characters from the neighborhood, you know. <laughs> 